what's up y'all back again with my second video as promised and this one is going to be on a new product i've been going crazy trying to find this product um i'm on a group on facebook a makeup group and <laughs> i thought it was going to be more like you know women just talking about makeup and da, da, da. but it's just like a group of addicts that's all it is and we're just feeding off of each other's addiction it's terrible somebody's always posting something that makes the rest of us run out and search high and low to find it. I mean, really dramatic, like going one girl to find this product. I believe she went to about four stores. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Like, we are a bunch of makeup addicts. That's just what it is. But enough of that. I want to talk to you guys about the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadows. And that's this is what they look like. And a lot of people are comparing these to Max Paint Pots, but I can't because I don't own any. They're too expensive. I want to say they're between $18 and $19 for that one product. And from what a lot of people say, I mean, it's a cream eyeshadow, the um, Max Paint Pots, but people usually use them as bases. And a, a lot of people say that they last forever, so it's like it's not any purpose to keep buying all the ones that come up because they last for a very long time. So this is a cheap alternative. These just came out. Um, you can find these at, I was told, Walgreens. Walgreens has it. It's about 6 to $7. I think Walmart has it. It's like 5 something. And you can find it at Rite Aid and CVS between, it's going to range between five ninety seven and I guess about 8 bucks, something like that, which is still cheaper than my, you at least getting two of these for the price of one of those. So I just want to go through the colors and the names. I'm not going to really do swatches because I've hear mixed reviews on these so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them all so if you want swatches on certain ones just let me know but yeah I'm still up in the air about them um the first one I want to show you is called I should have done them in order yeah let me try to do these in order sorry you guys I should have been more prepared to do this Okay, here we go. Okay, let's start with number one. Oh, and just so you know, I did do a video of the look of face of today that I'm wearing. Um, should be the video that's gonna post before this. So if you wanna know how what I used to get this look, just check that video out, please. The first one is in zero five, it's called Too Cool. And Too Cool is a pearl white. And for those who use the um NYX shadow bases, this looks like the pearl white one. So that's basically what that is right there. Next is 10 and it's called Fierce and Tangy. And that's the name and the color. The orange. I, I was told that this one is a matte. It's like a matte tang tangerine orange. So that's that. Oops, I might as well give you a swatch of that because I sure enough just stuck my finger in it. This is the orange. And that's what that looks like. Next is Audacious Asphalt in 15. And this one, I had to go to a second store to find this. And that's the color it looks like from the back. It's a steel gray. That's what that looks like. Next is 20 and painted purple. And I'm a purple freak, so you know I had to get this one. And just to let you not guys know, it is 10 colors, and I did get all 10, basically. And this is a pretty, pretty, pretty purple, you guys. I think I would definitely use this color as a base with my... um. Wet and Wild, I Love Mattes, that purple, that's right there at the bottom. I would definitely use that one as the base for that color. Next is 25 in Bold and Bronze. And it looks like that. And this is just the 
a coppery bronze right there okay next we have 30 and pomegranate punk and this one is just like a pomegranate burgundy-ish purple type mm. That's about it right there. Next is 35 and tough as taupe. I don't know if it's really focusing. I believe this one is a matte. A matte taupe color. That's that. Oh, I should have. Let's see. I think so far that one and the orange is the only matte colors. I, I was told it was both matte and shimmers in this collection. This one, the next one is 40 and tenacious teal. And from what I'm seeing on my makeup group, this is one of the ones that is very hard to find because I guess it's so pretty. Like people are just grabbing for this one first, and that's what that looks like. And that's beautiful. Next is 45 and bold gold. I had to go to the second store to get this color also. Because um, this is the time of the year when, because I, I work in cosmetics, retail cosmetics, and, you know, drugstore cosmetics. This is the time of the year when we discontinued um, discontinue items and also are putting out new items. So right now, it's not going to be with the regular line. These are going to be on table displays or floor displays. And with these displays, typically you only get about two of each product. So that's why these are hard to find because you only get two colors per store um, until they add it to the regular line. So that's how that works. This one is gold and this is also a shimmer. Camera, turn it off. Of course he will put when I'm making a video to turn his uh, toy on. Last but not least is 50 Edgy Emerald. Uh, that's Edgy Emerald. Pretty Emerald Green. And from what I can tell, I can only see that two of these are matte. Um, I guess I will have to wait and see until I use them or whatever to see if it's anything other than that. So those are two for all 10 colors. Um, like I said, rave reviews. I will do a tutorial using, um, try to do one this week using one of the, um, one of these. And then I'll do an update to tell you guys how they, um, how they work out. And I also, Maybelline also has new lipstick, supposed to last for 14 hours. I wasn't going to get this, but when I saw the color, it's called Perpetual, I don't know how to pronounce this word, P-O-N-P-E-O-N-Y. I always, I don't know how to pronounce that, but pretty mauve rose color. And I did swatch it already, but let me get a better swatch. And... It's not budging. Well, kind of. And that's the color right there. Right there. So, yeah. That's that. So, like I said, I'll be back with the tutorial and a review with these products. And if you already have them, let me know what you think. Um, it's always good to get others' opinions and to kind of weigh out if you want to you know decide to try them on that but you know you always have to go with what works for you but if I mean I'm just the type of person if I'm hearing 95% negativity about a product 9 out of 10 I'm not going to buy it I'll just you know find something else um, so like I said if you've tried these let me know what you think and that's about it so I'll catch you guys in the next video bye